no more. We're rolling. Oh no. Daisy, no Are more. You gonna <laughs> <sighs> okay. No, hey, he's like a bad guy. Robbie, quiet. <laughs> Hello, Facebook. <laughs> it is a Monday afternoon. We're in Burbank, California, and we are doing a big Q and A with myself, May Whitman, Robbie and Mel, Natalia Ricci, Robbie and May. Have a movie coming out on February twentieth. We're getting 20th. married. No, I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We have a movie. Movie coming out on February twentieth. Um, I'm in it too. Just so you know. Yeah, I that's three what times. I, call it. I have three cameos. <laughs> Actually, I think your I think your voice is out. No, so it's you're, not. No, it's you're in twice. Is that actually true? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, she's in the movie twice. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> it's sort of the thing that we talk about in prep. <laughs> <laughs> um, We're giving but... away eight thousand dollars if you can find where Italia is. Yeah. No, we're I'm not. just kidding. We're not. We're not. <laughs> Doing a little Q and A just to familiarize people with the movie. So I'm gonna moderate just for a minute, and then we're gonna open it up to uh, fan questions that we have. So May. Yeah. You've done a bunch of movies. Uh, <laughs> this is a this is a a new movie for you, yeah. and and with respect to the Duff, I would like you to provide five or six anecdotes from each season of Parenthood. Anecdotes <laughs> <laughs> like funny. What's an anecdote? Let's start there. <laughs> Just kidding. Give us one good Parenthood well, story before we get better. One time someone gives I you an anecdote. <laughs> Um, man, one good parenthood story. One, one good, good one. parenthood story is that I tried to get both of the boys on this couch to play my husband <laughs> and, um, parenthood, and I couldn't get any response. Neither of them texted me back. Do you know how that feels? That's not true. They were unavailable because they were doing their big treats. So would, my treat was out. I would have, I would have moved heaven and For earth reason. to be in parenthood. No. <laughs> Thank you. That's enough. That's she just asked me there. first. Okay. Well, I, I did, it was complicated because Bobby <laughs> said, that's my big anecdote, is that you both could have been Bravermans and yet. So Robbie and I are, so Robbie and I are in a car heading to an event in LA back in, I think, November, December? It was before the break. Possibly October. I don't mm. know. And Robbie <laughs> said I had to turn down being in the Parenthood finale because of availability. <laughs> and my response, I just go, you are such a fucking loser. <laughs> what are you even doing? Why would you do that? So negative. I had the same response. I was angry at him. I, to do it. I was like, I'll do it. I'll play your husband. You have to do it. Why would you do that? Yeah, it was not good. I know. We were all sad. So, shifting off of Parenthood, give us one <laughs> Robbie story from the set of The Duff. But first of all, set up The Duff. Tell everyone what it's about. You want me to do it? You do it. We, let's, you do can it. we do it together? The sure. Duff is... The designated and ugly fat fun, friend. It? <laughs> uh, it's based on a book of the same name written by Cody Kuplinger, who wrote it when she was 17. She's super talented and super funny. She's amazing. And she has a part of the movie, too. Mm -hmm. She does a cameo. She shows up, a little cameo. Um, try and find her for $8,000 more. $8,000 more. That's But um, the movie's kind of in the vein of uh, Mean Girls, Easy A, um... Lohan's not in the movie. She's all that. No, she's all that. Uh, you get $25 million <laughs> if you can find Lindsay in the dog. <laughs> it's, um, it's very funny. It's it's May being being witty and cute and the duff. Um, did you just fall asleep? <laughs> <laughs> just for a second. Just when I heard my name. That was May quitty um, May. May quitty May. <laughs> it's cool, too, because it's like kind of about, like... I don't know if people ever feel like outsiders, which I know I do and have for a long time. So it's kind of like, you know, that person's story, which is kind of nice to hear. And it feels real. It feels like, you know, it feels like we, we, we attack things that people go through in high school, went through in high school, will go through in high school for decades. It's kind and of time. And even in like life that. too. It's yeah. like a very sort of, it transcends, if you will, the high school bubble and kind of it's all about life. And Robbie has a shirt off for like a lot of it. So I was getting there, but it was, I was going to save it till the end. <laughs> just, just for when I was getting desperate. Like, guys, I know you're not going to go see it, but Robbie, he takes his shirt off, okay? Yes, please. Um, I really enjoyed the trailer. I had a particular moment that I enjoyed. Could you do your monster voice? Oh. Just for a second. <laughs> Need more mimosa, I tell you. <laughs> Very low. <laughs> She pulled that on the spot, by the way. That's true. Our director was like, it's the best was part. Like, I have this an idea for a monster voice. Yeah. And May was like, I was like, I uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so 
let's try it. And I was like, this is going to be great. <laughs> so weird. Like, I don't have to say anything. I just really get to watch. Confused. Where'd you guys film? Atlanta. How's that? It's hot. Yeah. Super hot. It was in summer. Mm -hmm. But it was cool. We had a blast. Yeah, we had a Braves really game. We, we, we're, we all ate we saw 23 so Jump much Street. food. We ate so much food. Ooh. Yeah, we just 23 Jump Street. Is that the sequel that we're looking at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Where's the champagne? I'm sorry. I don't, my brain doesn't know until yeah. it's okay. like four mimosas. Um, <laughs> May and I would order barbecue to for oh lunch God. every day. Oh, like a lot of barbecue. <laughs> and then we'd get so sick. And then we'd like have to go back on set. And we'd be like even sweatier than we were before. Because we'd have meat sweats. <laughs> and we'd great. be like, hey, uh, you're my boyfriend, right? <laughs> <laughs> Image, Get but... some brisket. Yeah. <laughs> some Jeez. <laughs> Do we have some questions from fans? Yeah, there's a bunch. Um, which one is which one you gonna start? Oh, um, how's it feel to be Razal Ghoul's Duff? Oh my god. <gasps> oh, that's a <laughs> I mean, the guy should have chopped my head off. That's the bottom line. He should have chopped my <laughs> head off and worn it Same. as a hat. <laughs> But he didn't. <laughs> and I survived. Next. May, are you sad parenthood's over? Yeah, I'm really sad. You're not nearly as sad as Italia is. Is Italia sad? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> if only we could show the picture. I know, I sent no. I sent May a picture of <laughs> Italia it's so special. bawling. <laughs> if you haven't seen the video on Ryan Seacrest of the producer crying recapping the parenthood finale, Italia did the exact same thing. I almost didn't let her into that. She's not. <laughs> she was angry with me right when I walked up. Do you, have a fun, do you have a fun story from the finale? Like a like a cast goodbye or or something? You know, it wasn't so, it wasn't fun. It was like it it, it should have been. We were all supposed to wrap at the same time, mm -hmm. and then due to like weather, we had to like break the scenes up and so oh. everybody uh, most people wrapped in the same scene like with a few stragglers mm -hmm. I wrapped like second to last I had to work the next day so every single scene we shot it was like huge emotional speeches saying goodbye to your family and then they were like all right next scene here we go and I was like oh my god so like you can tell like in every finale scene I'm like exhausted and puffy from like crying so much. But, but it was nice because we had um we got to all have, like, I finished and it was just a scene with me um, and Scott Porter. And it was really nice because I got to, like, say goodbye to the crew and do, like, a little speech and stuff like that. It was really, really sad. The morning after the Parenthood finale, Ty was shooting a short. And I was like, hey, how are you feeling? And she's like, I'm still a little puffy from crying. <laughs> it was a puffy month, I gotta tell you. Okay, hey, so, um... <laughs> Swap shows between the four of you, who would get what? I'm already angling to get on Chasing Life. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Chasing Life? What's your show? Uh, the Flash, I Flash. Guess. Okay, go cool. Flash. What a Parenthood. Although... Right. <laughs> and Arrow. Okay, so that's, okay, what we so... Have, that's what we have in play. I'd like to be on Arrow. I call Chasing Life. Mm-hmm. I, I will fight you for Parenthood. Uh, yeah. I, I will fight literally you. fight you. I will give you anything you want on Wait, Arrow. Wait, what's the one that nobody wants? Flat. Well, it's not my show, so... <laughs> no, but no, we just... Flash Parenthood. Is so bad. I've been a fan of Parenthood longer. Couldn't you guys I be cry together on Parenthood? than you do. Couldn't you be a fan? Couldn't you be... We could be family? together on Parenthood, but never a couple. No. <laughs> yeah. No, that would be so awkward. <laughs> That's the rule. That is the rule. I was like, I'll go on Arrow. Characters met, what would they say to each other? Anyone? Oh. Amber would sass all you guys. Like, yeah, <laughs> sure. She April's like pretty tough. Yeah, I yeah. think you guys would be like chill. Amber and you would be chill. Mm -hmm. Amber's a little bit more free spirited than than April, though. I feel like Amber might date Brenna, April's lesbian little sister. Mm. That should happen. I like Crossover. it. Could I, May Whitman, come on as a character that dates your little sister? Absolutely. <laughs> I, yeah. that, I will, uh, I will talk to her job. <laughs> I think that uh, Oliver and uh, Amber get on the back of the Ducati and go to Starling <laughs> City. I'm and out of there. Just live happily ever after. Dream come true. I need a competition for who gets Amber. I'm going to bring music to Aunt Julia and then I'll be like, all right, let's go. <laughs> 
<laughs> but if, oh, if April the, saw Firestorm, she would be like, did you, name, did you name the baby Z? <laughs> you, guys, you named the baby Z? I just spoiler alerted. So he, 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 he has to say the last two episodes of Parenthood, he's freaking out right now. I'm gonna start to cry. <laughs> I thought you were gonna name the baby Zeke. That was actually my prediction. <laughs> Do you have a favorite scene that um, you've shot or that has aired or hasn't aired on Chasing Light? Yes. One of my favorite scenes involves a sledgehammer. Okay. Oh, I know the scene. Yeah, yet. you can't. This night hasn't aired yet. But it's, wow, it's that a, is so sexy. Did you have the <laughs> sledgehammer? <laughs> so Was it you? Yeah. They, busting something up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You walls. can't spoil it. That's great. Well, you've seen a little bit in the previews, um, but they had the foam one for me, and every time I swung it, I was like, this is way too easy. So I had the real one. Look, <laughs> even the real one. So they were bouncing yeah, off yeah, the walls. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about you? Favorite scene from Arrow this season? Arrow oh, or not. boy. I have a really good scene coming up where I'm on my knees in front of Ra's al Ghul. End of the episode. Cool scene. Cool. Really cool scene. Really cool scene. A lot of people are asking if Steven and I will get to work together on Arrow or Flash. We don't know, but I can tell you they are actively trying to get the two of us on TV together. My prediction is yes. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then the scene ends with this. Oh, that was <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Please, oh, yes. Okay. It. If you were stranded on an island together and each of you could only have one personal item, what would the item be? Joel from Parenthood. <laughs> Wrong answer. <laughs> a knife, so I could come on the island and kill Joel for Harry, and then we wouldn't have any items. Yeah. On. And then you would just still have a knife. You were talking earlier about your sass for Joel. I know, I was really sassy. I just didn't appreciate that's I will say that's what's so cool about parenthood is that people aren't like, oh, the acting is bad. They just like are like, I hate that person or I'm mad at you for doing etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I love Joel. I've always loved Joel. He'll always be my uncle. But I'm not a fan of the way he treated Julia. <laughs> He wasn't communicating with her at all for no, no he, reason. He, yeah, no. So I was like a little, a little. I could go into like a forty-five minute long like, like, discussion. Like, right like by the end, I'll be like, Joel, yeah. I <laughs> see so you and me. <laughs> when did you when when you booked Parenthood? How old were you? I was twenty. I'm just twenty-six now. So how was it to play a character for that long, especially that like particular time of your life? Yeah, was it crazy. Interesting. It was so interesting. It was really like intimate because I was like. Convey First of all, you don't really see that age of especially girls. I feel like like yep. going from 16 to 23 or whatever and so it was like a couple of years behind me so I was like bringing to life all this stuff that I'd just been through and having to like rehash stuff and you know kind of like learn from things and it was really like intimate and but I, I really liked the response I got from like girls my age which was like it's such a messy, like uncomfortable mm -hmm. time, and I liked that you know people kind of felt less alone. What's the Parenthood fandom like? So cool. Everybody's so nice because it's kind of it's like it's such an intimate show that if you relate to it, you really like uh, relate to it honestly. So yeah. and I feel like there's yeah. so many things going on in it yeah. that you have to be able to relate to at least one to somebody's story, story yeah. exactly. And so every interaction I have is people being like. You don't understand it's so important or it's so honest and meaningful it's not like weird you know disassociative like comments or whatever it's like mm -hmm. very like connected so it's been yeah. that's been really great you what guys you are very guys? similar in yeah, that. I've, you I've, a few have... people have been like chasing life reminds me of a younger parenthood yes. which oh, wow. i was like oh yeah. <laughs> that's like, so cool that, that and, like, and, and two characters remind people of um Leo, a uh, uh, Pacey and Joey, and I was like, I can't get any better compliments than this. This is amazing. Finally impressed. What about you guys? What's your fandom like? Intense. It's great. Yeah. It's really yeah. Great. Somebody just posted People a picture of their. <laughs> oh. 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 One of the Hi. questions on here is how did you meet your um, here, move over. Yeah. Uh, Cassandra, this is Mary. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, I get you the most of it. I think we're like four minutes down. Yeah, we're, we're, we're close. Okay, so talk about the duff. Okay. More about the duff. More about the duff. What? Um, um, did you guys have duffs growing up? Have you seen it? You've seen it, right? Yes. You've seen it. A few times. What's I funny about it compared to something? Everything. It's um. 
I think I think honestly I think one of the biggest things that made it that that made me really enjoy it was that we got to improvise a mm -hmm. ton. They they gave us cool. a whole lot of freedom and the cuz we spoke afterwards mm -hmm. and you were like I liked the movie but coming out of filming it I don't necessarily know what movie it's going to be. Yeah, we shot like it yeah. could be a bunch of different movies. We we did 8 9 10 it wasn't rare to do 8 9 10 takes per size and then we're like okay which you know which joke are we using is it the you know the G rated one the PG rated one the R rated one and did it end up being the movie that you liked? Yes. There you go. For sure. That's yeah. exciting. And I think that that really was the best part of it for me too was like I mean Robbie was like my total like confidant best friend throughout that whole thing because he was like I mean he's he's like a weird machine where you can like feed him like a problem <laughs> and out comes like a nasty pun but one that like works that you like but you're just like oh my god where did that come from like so quick like I'm on the golf course one day <laughs> I had the day off I'm like I'm going golfing I'm on, and my phone starts <laughs> this was great I really enjoyed your filming period. schedule by the way <laughs> <laughs> because I film all the time and I'm like day off from the duff and a picture of your golf clubs I know, I know. <laughs> and maybe be like I need an alternate joke give me something here. I'd like text him the like, setup oh, cool. but I'd be like help me <laughs> send me alternates like is that true yeah yeah like he's like uh, like a comedy writer i was like do you remember well, one in particular yes my favorite thing that i've been telling people oh my my favorite moment is when there's like this part where i'm supposed to be like apologizing like trying to figure out how to apologize to toby for have like like confessing that i like him and i'm trying to like we were trying to come up with like what's the most embarrassing wrong way of like aggressively apologizing to a guy and being like insecure and we couldn't figure anything out and i was like like writing a really long stressful text blah 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 and we couldn't figure anything out and then Robbie <laughs> was like made the suggestion and so we're, I'm like in the scene and I'm like okay like I was thinking about like writing him like a really long letter apologizing and then like I don't know sending him an edible arrangement <laughs> Robbie suggested sending him an edible arrangement and Robbie was like no 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 whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. And an edible arrangement <laughs> yeah. no so then at the He's end psycho. of shooting for my last day Robbie sent me an edible arrangement as my <laughs> present as my goodbye present that was my favorite line. My favorite line, line that they had, and they, we only did it once because our director was like, whoa, 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 they're never going to allow you to use this. And they use it. It's in the movie, and it's my real reaction. I laugh my ass off. Oh, yes. Off. Tongue out the bum. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> I'm like, um, we, 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 spoiler, we kiss in the movie, and uh, I'm like, at one point, I'm like, well, I'm, I'm more of a tongue guy myself. And she goes, really? Because I felt your tongue poke out my butthole. <laughs> And I just watched it. I laughed, I laughed so hard. And they kept that take in the movie. It's I know. So good. It is so funny. It's funny to hear. There are so many moments where you can hear us genuinely mm -hmm. both like making each other laugh. That's, I think, it, what translates in the trailer. It translates in the movie. I've yeah. seen it. And that's why you are genuinely excited about the characters because it's it does feel real and yeah. it's so honest and Get contagious. Get her move. Cass, did, like you have a, did you have a duff? Oh gosh, no! I, I may, I may have been the duck. No, I doubt it. I, I have heard stories I about doubt. high school Cassandra <laughs> in Texas. Really? It might suggest that you I are the duck. Yeah, I was, or late, I was a late bloomer, and um, I, I definitely was not the queen bee. Everyone's so much though, you know. I had dreads and Tom Brady's got. Tom Brady's got. Well, that's the whole point, though. Funny. I think is that it's like really? it's about Tom the Brady feeling. Was, yeah. Tom Brady was the duck of the NFL draft. There you go. Now we're talking about Tom Brady. Keep Although going. Tom Brady is very hot. <laughs> but it's an important thing. It's like, it's about the feeling that you have of feeling like, you know, you don't fit in and everything. Mm -hmm. And so I think oh, that's really oh, important. We have we've 10 got seconds. a minute 10 yeah. left. Uh, no, 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 we're good. Nobody deserves to feel. You, you know what? We could have wrapped it up without you pointing out that we had a minute 10 I know, seconds now left we're just before at the Facebook iPad. cuts us off. <laughs> so when does the movie come out? February 20th. And it's going to be wide release theaters everywhere? Yep. Um, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. I might. We might be in New York. We're not sure yet for press and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, if if we are in LA, we'll know later on. I'm gonna go and surprise theaters and and jump in in Burbank. So if you go and see the movie, it's not the a surprise anymore. In Burbank, <laughs> well, you don't know which theater it's gonna be. I can't be everywhere. Two theaters in Burbank, Robbie. <sighs> Congratulations on a good movie with a wide release. Thanks, buddy. Thank really May. Woo! I'm to meet you. Thanks. Arrow. You Arrow's uh, on this Wednesday. Eight. Yeah, Wednesdays at eight. Flash Arrow. is Tuesdays Flash. at eight. Chasing life. Chasing life. Uh, Monday, Monday and nine. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We had and Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start me. <laughs>
Cut it! Cut it! We're going over! 